the first handicap of the week is next. It's the three more Ultima handicap chase. It's a grade three. It's almost like the handicap version of the Gold Cup over a couple of furlongs shorter. We've got a decent sized field. And first of all, big shout out to Joshua Sutherland for taking his top weight out and leaving a lot more in the handicap. Really sporting gesture for old Josh. That one, smell of victory at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Little Rock Hood, Vinnie Gerard, Union East, John Morgan, Bring Me Luck, Graham Clutterbuck, The Contract, Craig Beckwith, Night Escapade, John Morgan, Intrigue, Cheney, David Robertson, New Year's Day, Martin, The Unpassionate Queen, David Robertson, Bridge, Paul, Darren Thompson, Grudge Belt, James Shea, Sizzling Tail, Paul Parsons, Silent Voices for Graham Clutterbuck, Fearless, Paul Parsons, Rhythmic Room, Alex Cherry, Elvis for Martin, The and Winning Brillant, Alex Cherry, They're Away and Racing, and heading towards the first, it looks like it's going to be Elvis, the front runner, is going to go on. Uh, Bridge Paul is another one who looks to go from the front, and so too does Union East. So we are going to get a strong pace in this as we get to the first of the 18, and the leading three are already four to five lengths clear of the rest of them. So you can be guaranteed a strong pace in this now because there's no way all three of them are going to fall. And Bridge Paul on the inside for Darren Thompson, who won the, first, won the first two races today. So going for a quick fire treble as they get to the second. It's Union East who's landed just in the lead though. From Bridge Paul second, Elvis is in third. Can't quite go as quickly as the other two. It's a gap of three lengths or four lengths maybe to Little Rock Hood. And then Bring Me Luck as they take the water for the first time. He's leading three, maybe not gone quite as quick as I thought they were going to. They're not as far in front as it looked like they were going to be as they get to this ditch. And there's a faller there. It's Night Escapade that's gone. So John Morgan's got Union East who's now taken it up. But it's other one, Night Escapade is on the deck as they get over the fifth. And one or two mistakes back in the field there. Vinnie Gerard's Little Rock Hood and My New Year's Day. Didn't jump it all that well. And towards the back, the Paul Parsons pair, Fearless and Sizzling Tail, are the back two. There's a long way to go. And down to this next ditch. Union East. It's almost another one down there. There's another two down. Fearless has gone up the back, but Bring Me Luck was the one that fell first. I don't know whether Fearless was brought down by Bring Me Luck, but we've lost three of them in this already. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's probably due to the pace that we get from these front runners who make the Franks lickety split and one or two of them end up making errors that they can't recover from but it's Union East who's clear by two to Bridge Paul in second, Elvis in third as they take the seventh and there's a gap after that to Rhythmic Room in fourth, Grudge Belt is fifth and then Intrigue Chenet and Little Rock Hood with Winning Brillant and Passionate Queen the contract is next and then Silent Voices And the Union East is in front, leading by two lengths to Bridgepool second, Elvis third. As they make their way towards the straight, a complete circuit to go after this. Still, I'm going to take the two in the straight first, and we'll sail over the first of them nicely. And the Union East is in front. This will be the last next time round. Elvis has jumped up alongside Bridge Pool there. Share in second as they prepare to swing left handed. Take the cross fence, then another one on the back, and then the water. And then onto the back part of the course. A Union East racing uphill towards this cross fence in front. It's over it nicely from Bridge Pool and Elvis. And Rhythmic Room is back in fourth. There's a bit of a gap to the main group which is headed by Intrigue Chenet in the turquoise and light blue the second of Alex Cherry's horses with the orange sleeves on the outside of that one winning Brillant as I take this plain one and they're all safely over that one the leading three maybe I was just about to say coming back to the pack a little bit but I'm not sure they are now as they head for the water with the Union East in the lead leading over the water for the final time with Bridge Paul over it in second and Elvis over it in third and a gap to Intrigue Chenet is now moving to fourth then comes Rhythmic Room and Little Rock Hood and winning Brillant Passionate Queen is after that as they take this ditch which they all sail over nicely and towards the back the contract the contract is just the back marker as they get over the 14th and they're all safely over the 14th a mistake towards the back there by the top weight smell of victory has now been relegated to last as Union East is now being joined by Elvis in second then comes Bridge Pool a couple of lengths back 
in third. Big gap then to Rhythmic Room as we get down towards the business end of the race. This is the final ditch and they get over that one. Union East over it in front from Elvis over it in second. Then Bridge Paul who's just lost a bit of ground back in third. Big gap then back to Intrigue Sinead, Rhythmic Room and then Little Rock Hood, Passionate Queen, Renin Brunot after that one. Sizzling Tail is starting to run on one or two of them behind that are going to have to start motoring soon if they're going to get into this there's less than five furlongs to go and only three more fences to get over and Union East is in the lead but in the lead pretty much all the way from Elvis in second as they take that third last now Bridge Paul starts to motor again in third the pack are now beginning to close Rhythmic Room and Little Rock Hood are next Passionate Queen is running on there's a big gap back to Intrigue Chenet and New Year's Day is trying to run on with Grudge Belt and Sizzling Tail but it's Union East in front Bridge Paul's gone into second Elvis has hit the wall again as they race down towards the second last it's Union East in front Bridge Paul coming round on the outside they're going to swing into the straight now and take the final two it's Union East in front Bridge Paul in second Little Rock Hood is in third then Passionate Queen over the second last a mistake there by Little Rock Hood sees that one probably out of it and now on the outside Bridge Paul takes the lead over the final fence Bridge Paul's gone into the lead Bridge Paul is in front then there's a furlong to go and Bridge Paul is suddenly two lengths clear and can Darren and Thompson take the first three races of the Cheltenham Festival. Indeed he can. It's Darren Thompson's day already. And up towards the line, Bridgeport takes it. Union East is second. And then Grudge Belt in three. Sinead size in town after that one. He lost another one in the straight Sutherland voices. The contract, I think, was the last one to finish. But Darren Thompson kind of dreamed of a better start than this. Three races and three Cheltenham Festival winners. Bridge Paul, the winner for Darren Thompson. Union East second for John Morgan. Back in third was Grudge Belt for James Shea. That was running at the end. Intrigue Cheney for David Robertson was fourth. And Sizzling Town for Paul Parsons. He's probably his first Cheltenham runner. Has got himself in the prize money as well, which is no mean feat at all. So there you go. And Darren Thompson, what about that? Taking the first three races of the Cheltenham Festival. And I would think he probably needs to buy Joshua Sutherland a drink.